Let's consider a second example of total expectation. Let's say we have a computer system with a thousand users on that system. And those users chose a password. And we want to know something about, well, what's the average length that, uh, of a password that the users choose? So we look at uh, the password lengths chosen by users and count how many users chose passwords with a particular number of characters. And we collect the following data where we see that 150 users chose six character passwords, 500 users chose seven characters. It turned out no one chose eight character passwords, 250 nine characters, and 100 users chose 10 character passwords. So again, we have mutually exclu ex exclusive events in this case, in that uh, a user cannot choose two different length passwords. And the set of events are exhaustive in that we have a thousand users, and we cover all those one thousand users in terms of selecting passwords. So we can quite easily calculate the the expected value for the system. That is the the expected pass password length, or the average password length. We can calculate it as we have the probability of selecting, or the expected value of the, the first set of event is that we get six characters, times by the probability of that, we have 150 users out of 1,000 in total. And the expected value of the second event, select seven character password times by our 500 users over 1,000, which is 50%, or 0 0.5. Nine times 250 over 1,000 plus 10 times 100 divided by 1,000, or 0 0.1. And with a calculator, we can calculate that. And we calculate 6 times 0.15 plus 7 times 0.5 plus 9 times 0.25 plus 10 times 0 0.1, 7.65. That is, on average, we the users choose a password length of 7.65 characters.